In this video, you will learn how to access and use Alex homework assignments. First thing is you want to access your Canvas account. So when you're in your Canvas account, make sure to select Math 092. Then you're going to select here on the left modules, select Alex, and then select load Alex in new window. Now click Alex right here and then select here where the title of our class is. If this is your first day using Alex, you will need to complete this tutorial and take a knowledge check. Then you will be able to access the homework assignments for this class. This is what your Alex will look like once you have completed those things. After you take the initial knowledge check, you will have a pie here with a number in the center. There is a total of 259 topics in this class, which some of those are topics you should already know from the previous class. So when you're done with your knowledge check, take a look at what this number is. And the lower it is, it just means that you may have more catch up to do. Now, this pie and this part right here is for extra credit. It's optional. At the end of this class, if this number right here is high enough, you can earn extra credit. Please refer to your syllabus for how high this number needs to be in order to earn extra credit. So we will not be using this continue my path or this pie as part of your homework grade. It will be extra credit for this class. So where do you need to go in order to access your homework assignments for this class? To find your homework assignments, you're going to click these three, this tab up here with the three horizontal lines. So you're going to click there, and then in the drop down menu, go ahead and click on assignments. And here is a list of all your homework assignments for the first module. If you take a look at your syllabus that you were given in class, I'm going to be using the one for fall 2017. So if this video is being watched and it is not fall 2017, please understand that the dates will be different than yours. So you're going to go to the course calendar, which is on page 8 here, and you will notice it tells you that on Wednesday here in this cal calendar, that we will have a lesson over variables and that you have homework in a homework packet to complete page two. Well, in addition to the pages in the homework packet, every Sunday there will be homework due in Alex. That is what these assignments are for right here. So if you scroll down to the bottom here, you will see that the dates are in this column right here, the due dates. So you have three here that are due this first Sunday. Again, if you're watching this and it's fall 2017. So depending on what semester this is, you want to take note right here of your particular due dates. So, so I'm going to go ahead and click on homework review fractions. So this should be a review from the class before. You will notice it says unlimited attempts. That means that after you solve a problem, if it is incorrect, you can keep doing it until you get it correct and earn 100% for that problem. You will see here again, it will tell you when the due date is. And now we're going to go down here and we're going to go ahead and click start. This particular assignment you can see up here says that there's 23 questions. So think of this like a worksheet. I have a problem and then I solve it showing my work. So you can skip around or start with number one and move along or you can skip around to number 13 or 11. So if I take a look at this problem right here, what I would do if I was at home and I was you, I would take this problem and I would have a, a spiral notebook to do all my work in. So I'm going to pretend this is my scrap paper here, and I would work out the problem. So 
So then once I have an answer, I'm going to go ahead and enter it into Alex. Now, it is not going to tell me whether that problem is right or wrong right away. So if you want to know if the question is right or wrong, even though I'm not done with all of these problems here, I can click Submit Assignment down here and, and get immediate feedback. If I want to wait, that's why it's important to keep your work so that you can refer back to it, you can then move along clicking this arrow or clicking the appropriate number, go to the next problem. Okay, and then I can solve this problem on my scrap paper. and then so on, answering the questions. Now, if you are busy and you have to go and you can't finish it all at once, that's okay, you can click Save for Later. If you want to see how you did on the ones you did do, you can click Submit Assignment. So it says you have 12 unanswered, that's okay. Because you have an unli unlimited attempts, it's fine. It will mark them wrong, but then you can do them again. So it tells me what my score is, how much time, and then I can click on report and when I click on report it's going to give me feedback so all of these that are circled in green means I got them correct and then the red means either I skipped them because I didn't have time or I got them wrong so the nice thing is you can click on them and then it will explain how to do that problem okay then after I'm done looking through them and comparing what they tell me the work is compared to what I did in my spiral notebook, I'm going to go ahead and click assignment list and now it will take me back to all my assignments and you will notice it has a 30% now. So now I can click on it again and start it again and this time I can't do numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4 because I already received credit because I did them correctly. So it allows me to go back and redo the ones that I got incorrect only without having to do the whole assignment again. So remember, as you're working on homework, you're either gonna click save for later and wait for it to grade it later, or click submit assignment and it will grade the ones that you have completed. So Alex will always give you your best score. So this should be going up as you redo the problems that you answered previously incorrectly. Um, so again, notice here are the due dates. So make sure that you are keeping up with these. While you're allowed to complete as many of these as you want, I highly recommend sticking with the due dates here. So for example, in this particular course, these first three assignments are due on August 27th. These next two right here are due September 3rd, these next three actually. I wouldn't move ahead to them until you've learned that topic in class, so that way you can utilize the tips and the tricks that you'll learn in the classroom. So yeah, you can go ahead if you're gonna be busy, but I strongly recommend pacing yourself with the class. Alrighty, so again, here is your home screen when you log into Alex. You're, this is optional. This is when you are done with all your homework. If you still need more practice, this is what you can work on for extra practice. This is individualized. Everyone's is different. And this is called the Alex Pie you will earn extra credit the closer this number is to 259. What you need to do after every class is click assignments and click the assignment that matches what we did in class that day. Once you're done with your Alex homework, then you have homework pages to do from a packet. You will receive the homework packet in class if you haven't already and you will notice it will have the due date and it will have some instructions and it will say lesson one homework. 
So you will complete these problems by hand and make sure that you're using the calendar to tell you which page of the packet to complete when. Once you are done with the page in your homework packet, you're going to go into Canvas and click on Homework Solutions. Open it in a new tab and then click on the appropriate module. So you need to check after you've completed the homework packet page if your answers are correct. So you're going to click on the answer key here. You're going to check your answers here. Um, if you miss something, you're going to correct it and look at my work. If the work doesn't make sense to you, then see me during my office hours. If there's time in class for homework questions, you can ask then, or you can visit the tutoring center. So when you turn in this packet to me, it should have all work for full credit, and the work should match mine very similarly and have all the correct answers. So it should be a packet that's a perfect key that I could hand to someone else and they could follow it along in order to get the full credit. So again, to recap, after every class, you're going to log on to Alex and complete the online Alex homework. After that, you're going to complete the appropriate pages in your paper homework packet. Then if you still have time and are in need of more practice or would like to just practice more, you can complete the Alex Pi problems. And if the amount of problems you've completed, the objectives match what your syllabus says, then you will receive extra credit at the end of the semester for completing the Alex Pi.